So, how's it going? So we're finally getting back to doing Shinji Monastery hard mode. Um, right on Shinji Monastery. So, I figured out how to beat this. Uh, I almost beat it, but I accidentally let Apprentice G die, which is completely my fault. Uh, essentially, what I did is I kind of organized my dudes like this. Let's just kind of put my Soul Twister there. Monk forward. This guy can go here. I'm running a healing build just because I'm going to be spamming traps, the improvised explosives, so all my stuff's going to be going on cooldown, so I'm just running low cooldown abilities. I'm just going to kind of camp these guys towards the center and they're going to kind of wander out as things come in. So the main way you beat this, especially without good builds or access to good skills, because I'm on factions only, is you have to plant the improvised explosives. So all you have to do is plant them as a trap, and they actually deal significantly more damage than if you just throw them. And you can also get them ahead of time. So I'm just gonna kind of place these archers now. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna place these archers on the hill over here. Actually, I should probably spread them out. I'll kind of put them. I'll put them on this side just to support this. I want to have some kind of barrier before G, because she's extremely important. I'm not trying to heal too much or micro too much, I'm mostly just going for the explosives. Have these come up more. I'll have these right here. I probably should spread them out a bit though. And then these dudes can be forward. Alright, so what you can do is you can, you should just begin planting these immediately. Uh, I would place them here and here. The reason you place them here is because the enemy, like once these dudes are dead, the enemy backline will like kind of rest on the improvised explosive. So if you look at what it says, it actually triggers three times and it applies burn, so it does 900 damage, so it'll literally wipe out almost anything that stands in it for three seconds. So I'm just gonna kinda stagger three. I'm gonna place one here, one here, and then one in more. I really should be using burning speed. So roughly after five seconds, you can place another improvised fire trap. So as soon as five seconds is up, you can place another one. You kind of stagger them out. It doesn't hurt to have some to like fall back on. Just because as these dudes collapse into you, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. So I'm going to put one on G too, just, just in case, because they, they do like to target her. Alright, so I'm actually going to just run up. So this is going to trigger. I'm actually just going to run up and just place another one. Now sometimes you'll get interrupted by a Mesmer. Uh, that'll actually happen quite a lot. Uh, if that happens, then you can just use the other mode of the weapon. Of the improvised fire trap. So I'm actually going to kind of just run this over to these guys. Just give them a little gift. Alright, sweet. Now you can always throw it if you are like panicking or like your dudes are about to die. You can quickly throw it, it interrupts a bunch of guys, but it's much better to plant. It does significantly more damage planting it. Alright, so I'm actually going to calm down here. Um, I'm going to start dropping these. Now that the enemies are dying, your best bet is just to chill out and just collect these. And don't help enemies, like don't help kill the enemies because you can get, if you do it right, you can get like four or five of these in between waves. Alright, so I'm actually start planting these now. I'm going to have two guards on me. So what I do is I plant the furthest and then I like come back. Uh, 
I'll pull this with me. It doesn't hurt to have extra bombs just laying around for uh, planting or throwing at dudes if your like, team's getting overwhelmed. That is definitely going to happen in this mission. I mean, if you're running like good heroes, you should be fine, to be honest, but it doesn't hurt. Sweet, I didn't get interrupted. Alright, I'm just gonna like, keep planting. Should be doing fine here. Just gonna plant another one here. Grab this one. Give these some love. Start healing her. She cannot die. If she dies, you pretty much lose if you're running this sort of setup like I'm running. Where you're doing factions only, which you're probably not, but that's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill this. Or at least interrupt it. I'm actually gonna just heal people and drop these. I'm just gonna help my team tank a bit. Just pick up more bombs. Yeah, when there's just like a thing left, just leave it alone. Do not, do not pursue it because you can get more bombs, so it definitely helps. Alright, I'm gonna start planting. I'm gonna pull these dudes on me. They're kinda not too useful, just being dead somewhere. I mean, they can slow down the enemies, which can help for sure, but I think you're better off keeping them with you so they survive, because in the last two waves, they will definitely be dead for the, like most of the fight. So try to get like three in a row. Great. I'll just let these guards do whatever they're gonna do. Plant my bomb here. I'm actually plant one here. Alright, these dudes are gonna get in there, so... Alright, all the bombs are gone, so I better help out this side. Okay... I'm just gonna plant one here. They're okay, actually wiping, so it looks like I might lose this one. I probably should have planted that, to be honest. Alright, let's help start helping out. Okay, I'm gonna actually plant this on these dudes. Great, alright. We should be fine. Alright, I'm gonna start getting more of these. I think the third, the in-between one doesn't help. I think I'll plant far and then plant close. And then plant like some panic ones. So definitely this one. Do some cards here. Definitely one here. Okay, Sin is coming and then we have two more waves. Okay, I'm gonna plant far again. All right, this is where I lost last time. Uh, I finished the wave, but then <laughs> I let G die, which was my greatest mistake. All right, I'm gonna plant one here. Okay, 
one plant went on G. Can't let her die. I'll have some of these dudes hang out. We'll put some stuff on her. Plant one here. This is a good fallback position. Alright, I'm going to replant this one out here. I'm going to replant this one. So all the backliners on the enemy team will kind of hang out there. That's why I'm planting there. And generally, if you plant out here, you're fine. Like, you pretty much are okay. Because, like, watch, this will, this will trigger, this will kill, like, all these dudes right here. Alright, I'm just going to throw this on here, just because I don't like when she's vulnerable. Alright, these are bone horrors, so I'm actually going to just start replanting. Actually, I'm going to plant here. There's a bunch of dudes coming in. Great. Drop in here. Just in case we get overwhelmed. I'm going to drop that one there. I'm going to replant that one forward soon. All right, so if you're if you're planning on doing this, you pre you pretty much want no cooldown or low cooldown abilities. Uh, you don't want you don't want to have abilities with over a five second cooldown because you'll never be able to use them. So, all right, this is the final wave. Oops. Okay, we have some Canton guards, so that's good. I'm gonna plant this one here. I don't believe I planted one out here, so I'm gonna plant this one. And grab these guards. The guards are just gonna get farmed if they're just like left to their devices, so don't let that happen. <laughs> plant one at her again. Uh, I'm actually just gonna run out to one of the positions and plants soon. So uh, triggers, I'm just gonna run out here and plant. Hopefully I don't die. Great. This is probably one of the best things you can do for this situation. I'm gonna run out here and plants. Is that a meteor shower? Hope that sins. Alright, plant it out there. She should have one ready for me. Uh plant over here. They're gonna be coming in. Plants over here. Actually, plant back here. We'll just hold the back position. I think this is it. I think I got this. Yeah, this looks like it's it. Just plant. I'll just start. I'll just keep planting. Just play it safe, just in case there's another wave. But I think I got it. You just have to keep planting them. Yeah, when I was looking at this, the improvised explosive, I'm just like, 300 damage, great. And then I didn't even realize this triggered three times, so it does like 900 damage to 60 armor, so that's insane. So like, after I realized that, holy fuck, we got it! We did it! Dude, that was so easy! Holy shit, all you have to do is just plant them in those positions, have your team to hold back. Uh, I'm running factions only bars, so if I can do it with this, you can do it with anything, man. Alright, let's get all this shit. All right, so we we got we got wins to change soon. Basically, the, the last mission is much easier than this. So hell yeah, man! Might as well get some loot, right? Let's pick up all this shit. Fuck yeah! 
All right. I'm pretty hyped about that, actually. Like, I, I failed it, like, I want to say, like, five or six times, maybe seven or eight, somewhere around there. The main thing is you have to keep G alive. But now that I know planting is so strong, like, you can just run up and plant in this position, in this position, and then plant, like, here. So what happens is the enemies bulk up here and here, like, in the back line, and if you have... Uh, guards posted or guards following you the guards will kind of meet their front line and they can like you can ball them up and usually they're, they're they ball here and here on this side and here and here on this side so you kind of want to plant forward and backward like like a little bit like down at the bottom of the staircase and at the top of the staircase in this case uh, and then at the gate right here, and then at this like area right here. And you want to have some guards posted here and some guards following you, and you're just going to kind of run around and plant. And that's it, man. That's it. Holy fuck. That was easy. The Holy shit, that was so easy. No one even died. Or maybe one person died, but... Yeah, not bad. Feels good. And I just have one more mission left, and it's much easier than this. So, the hype is real. Thanks for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next one.